Hello! In today's video I'm going to share with you that kimchi recipe that I've been promising to you for last year. It's the most requested recipe ever, but honestly it took me a year to find Chinese cabbage. This recipe is great whatever you live because it doesn't have any kind of exotic ingredients apart from fish sauce that you can find in most places. So even if you don't live in Asia, it should be pretty easy for you to make. If you are Korean or Asian yourself, then you might think that is a little bit different from what you used to, but this is my version and I love it. I hope you love it too, so let's get started. The base of kimchi is Chinese cabbage, also called Napa cabbage. You will need around three pounds of it and mine were a pound each, so I just used three heads. Traditional kimchi recipes often hatch large chunks of cabbage, but I prefer them smaller because they're easier to work with and they're softer when they're ready to eat and also make sure that your bowl is big enough for all the ingredients. Next, you'll need to chop six green onions, both white and green parts. The next step was supposed to be grating a couple of carrots, but I forgot, so I'll show it to you later on. Multitasking seriously isn't my strongest feature, so if I have to cook and film a video at the same time, disasters often happen. Luckily, adding carrots a little bit later wasn't really a big deal. Then take 10 medium radishes and grate them. If you prefer daikon radishes, you can use them too. I simply prefer normal radishes because of the color and because I prefer the taste. Then add two tablespoons of fine sea salt or Himalaya salt. And the next step is mixing all the ingredients and distributing the salt evenly, which wasn't easy with an overflowing bowl, but I managed. That's why I said make sure that your bowl is big enough, otherwise it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Then you'll need to just leave it alone for two hours. This is going to make it so much easier for you later. Instead of massaging or crushing it forever or soaking it in tons of salt and then rinsing it out, which is the traditional method, you'll find it already moist and soft with a bit of uh, massaging. It's going to be ready to go to the next step. Now it's time to prepare the spicy seasoning and there are tons of different variations for it. Here's one that I personally like. You'll need to blend a one inch piece of grated ginger, four garlic cloves, and of course, if you're not a big fan of garlic, just reduce it. Also two small chilies or one tablespoon of chili powder. And again, if you're not a big fan of spicy foods, then definitely feel free to reduce the quantity. And finally, two and a half tablespoons of fish sauce, which you can buy in any Asian market. My blender isn't very powerful, so I'm just going to use a pestle and mortar to do this, but use a food processor or a blender, whatever works for you. Now pour the mixture on top of the vegetables and mix with a spoon. And warning, please don't use your bare hands or the skin under your nails will burn for a week. And I know it because I made a mistake. It wasn't fun, so definitely don't do it. If you have disposable gloves for food handling, then you can use those too. And that's it. Now you'll just need to transfer everything to a well-sterilized, clean two liter jar, which is just over two quarts. As you're stuffing the vegetables inside, keep pressing them down to release the juice. And there should be a good layer of juices at the top cover with a paper napkin and an elastic and leave to ferment for three to five days, maybe even up to seven days, depending on your room temperature and your taste. Just keep tasting it until it tastes sour enough for you. Also, don't forget to press it down with a spoon a few times a day to make sure the vegetables are always covered with a layer of juice. And here you go. Your first batch of kimchi is ready. If you aren't a big fan of the taste of kimchi right away, just be patient. Give it a bit of time and it will grow on you, I promise. It's definitely an acquired taste for us Westerners, but it's so worth it because the health benefits are enormous. If you'd like smoother digestion, more stomach acid, clearer skin, uh, more digestive enzymes when you're eating, definitely give kimchi a try. I really hope you'll give this recipe a try. If you do, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.